Hello everyone, my name is Cassandra and in today's video, I am going to share with you all how to transform paper or plastic cups into beautiful flowers. I will mention all the materials I have used down in the description. So do check that out. And now let's get started. First, I am taking some wooden sticks that I have to create the stem of the flower. You can use broomstick or old paint brushes or metal wires instead of this. Next, I am going to take some green paint and paint the stem. Once it's completely painted, I'm going to leave it aside to dry. Now I'm taking the cup and making cuts on it like this. Once I have cut out the cup, next I am going to carefully pierce a hole in the center of the cup to insert the stem. Now I am going to follow the same process and cut out two more cups. Next. I'll take my stem and insert it in the first cup and I'll apply some hot glue to secure it. Then I'll press the cup inward like this. Now I'll apply some hot glue at the bottom of the stem to further secure it. Next, I'll take the second cup and apply some hot glue on the inside. And now I'll attach it below the first cup like this. Now I'll apply some hot glue to further secure it. And now I'll take my third cup and spread the cutting outwards like this. Next, I'll apply some hot glue on the inside and I'm going to attach it below the second cup. And again, I'll secure this cup as well with some hot glue. Now the fly is almost complete and you can spread it out as you want. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. So next I'm going to apply some leaves. Here I have some artificial leaves. You can make your own leaves if you want out of cardstock or foam paper or any other material. So now I'm going to cut the leaves out like this. Next, I'm going to apply some hot glue and attach it below the flower like this. Okay, so this is how the flower looks like. You can leave it like this, but I'm going to add a little pop of color to it. So I'm taking some red acrylic paint and I'm going to apply it just on the tip of the flower like this. This step is completely optional and you can use any color you want your flower to be. And here is my complete flower. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye!